The red-eyed tree frog is one of the most beautiful frogs. It belongs to the genus bright-eyed tree frog of the family Hylidae. She has a very funny face with red eyes and a contrasting green-blue-yellow body. This wonderful creature has been living on our planet for about 10 million years. The red-eyed tree frog lives in South and Central America, Guatemala, Mexico, Honduras, El Salvador, Costa Rica, Colombia, Nicaragua, Panama, and Colombia. The species was described by Cope in 1862. The Latin name for the red-eyed tree frog is translated as beautiful tree nymph. Appearance Small, brightly colored animals with large bright red eyes with vertical pupils. Body length of females up to 7.7 cm, males up to 5.9 cm. Coloring from light to dark green, sides are dark blue with purple, or brownish and yellow or cream vertical and diagonal stripes, belly is white. The shoulders and thighs are blue or orange, the toes, except the outer ones, together with the pads are orange. Sometimes on the back there are faint dark green lines, especially in individuals from Nicaragua and Costa Rica, or small white spots. The average number of stripes on the sides of frogs of different populations increases from north to south from 5 in Mexico to 9 in Panama. Habitat Distributed in southern Mexico and Central America, up to Panama. There is one known meeting in a botanical garden in northern Colombia. It lives in humid tropical forests, mainly in lowlands, but sometimes in foothills up to an altitude of 1250 meters. In nature. The main habitats of these tree frogs are foothill and low-lying tropical forests, which most often grow on the shores of water bodies. These tree frogs live in the middle or upper tier of the forest and settle there on vines and plant leaves. Tree frogs are nocturnal, and in the daytime they sleep on the lower part of the leaves, hiding from predators. When the tree frog rests, its eyes are covered by a transparent membrane, while the frog can see. If she is in danger, she instantly opens her eyes and confuses the predator with her bright red color. These seconds are enough for the frog to instantly hide. The main enemies of red-eyed tree frogs are snakes, mostly parrot snakes, small mammals, birds and tree lizards. The average lifespan of a red-eyed tree frog is 3 to 5 years. Tadpoles are eaten by fish, turtles and various arthropods. And caviar is an object of food for wasps, cat-eyed snakes, fly larvae, monkeys and other living organisms. In addition, caviar dies from the effects of a fungal infection. Red-eyed tree frogs, like other frogs, are carnivores. They feed on a variety of beetles, mosquitoes, flies, spiders, lepidoptera, frogs and small lizards, that is, they eat any prey that is placed in their mouth. Red-eyed tree frogs are able to swim, they have a good sense of touch, and have parabolic vision. At night, the tree frog wakes up, stretches and yawns. Although red-eyed tree frogs have a frightening bright color, they are non-toxic, but their skin contains a large number of different peptides, caroline, tachycinin, and bradycinin. Reproduction. They breed during the rainy season, late May to November. Mating occurs throughout the season, but most often in June and October. During this time, males make aggressive calls to distract other males and calls to attract females. The dominant frequency of the sounds emitted ranges from 1.5 to 2.5 kHz. Vocalization begins at dusk and is especially intense during rain. The clutch consists of about 40 green eggs, each of which is surrounded by a transparent mucous membrane. The size of the eggs varies from 3.7 mm when hatching to 5.2 mm before hatching. The total body length of tadpoles in the last stages of development is about 4.8 cm. Home maintenance. Red-eyed tree frogs are not whimsical in keeping and are suitable for beginners. Terrarium type, vertical, closed on top with a mesh cover. Sizes, at least 60 by 30 by 40 cm substrate, coconut fiber, paper towels or soil, with a top layer of live moss, as dry moss rots easily, which creates conditions for the development of pathogenic bacteria. If soil is used as a substrate, then its thickness should be 10 to 15 centimeters. The terrarium is inspected and cleaned every day. Every two to three weeks, a complete cleaning and disinfection of all decor items is carried out. Temperature, daytime 24 to 26 degrees Celsius, night 20 to 22 degrees Celsius. Heating, using a heating pad with a thermostat. Lighting, red-eyed tree frogs don't like bright lights, especially white lights. Because these are nocturnal animals, then LB fluorescent lamps are used for lighting at night. Humidity, not less than 75%. One to three times a day the plants and the substrate are sprayed with fresh water. Plants, there should be plenty of living plants in the terrarium, such as non-thorny bromeliads, vines, tropical ferns, philodendrons and epipremnums. In addition to plants, driftwood, branches, lianas, stones, waterfalls, hollow pipes for climbing are placed in the terrarium. Make sure that the decor items are not sharp-edged. The background of the back wall is made dark. 
pond, a bowl of water, 5 to 7 centimeters deep, where tree frogs will swim. The water is changed every day. When feeding a red-eyed tree frog, you can give any soft invertebrates that fit in its mouth, cockroaches, crickets, fruit flies, flies, beetles and their larvae, earthworms, wax moth larvae, small silkworms, springtails, locusts, moths. Adults can eat newborn mice, small reptiles and amphibians. They feed the frogs in the dark, put the food on a saucer. Feeding frequency, adults 3 to 6 insects every 2 to 3 days, young, growing, every day. Water should be spring or bottled. Changes every day. Mineral dressings vitamins, for adult insect frogs, calcium and vitamins are sprinkled every 2 to 4 feeding, for young 2 to 3 times a week. One terrarium can hold up to 5 red-eyed tree frogs. Males are not aggressive except in the breeding season. Breeding is difficult Chiryonic gonadotropin is often required for stimulation. To stimulate reproduction, an artificial winter is arranged, with an increase in humidity to 70 to 90 percent, and a decrease in temperature to 21 to 23 degrees Celsius. After one to two months, the temperature begins to rise gradually. The male and female are moved to a movable terrarium. Amplexus can occur after two to three days. The breeding terrarium is divided into two halves, water, a reservoir up to 13 cm deep with an internal filter, from the reservoir there should be a gentle exit to land, and land, with a large number of living plants hanging over the water. The water temperature is 25.5 to 26.7 degrees Celsius. Since the tadpoles of the red-eyed tree frog are carnivorous, they are sorted as they grow, they are kept separately, or in small groups. When adinium is affected, gray dots appear on the tree frog's body. In this case, the tree frog is placed in distilled water for a while, and the terrarium is washed and disinfected. If this does not help, the tree frog is bathed in weak chamomile tea for an hour. Red-eyed tree frogs must be examined for various injuries and skin lesions. If they are found, they are treated with a solution of deoxidine and sprinkled with powdered streptocide. Life expectancy in captivity is up to 10 years. Price. Expect to pay around 25 US dollars.